Hi everyone, I'm Miranda and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm borrowing from the idea of my podcast, which is called Tea and Tattle, and I thought I would do some Tea and Tattle chats on this YouTube channel because I thought it'd be really fun to just share some of the things that I'm loving and enjoying at the moment that aren't just books that I could tell you all about. And I love my tea, <laughs> I love chatting, so I thought this would be a bit of a tea and tattle time with all of you. Oh, so on my podcast I generally just interview other people, so I thought again this would just be a nice way to actually get to chat to you a bit more and to uh, physically show you some of the things that I'm talking about and really enjoying. So hopefully this will be fun. Mm. It's actually quite hard to drink and talk on YouTube at the same time. But anyway, so first things first, I thought I'd tell you a bit about what's happening for me this month, what I've enjoyed, what I'm looking forward to, and just what January's been like for me a bit. I'm really excited because for the first time I've been invited to the Costa Book Awards, which is on it's this Tuesday, the 28th. And I'm so excited, I'm bringing my mum with me as my guest and she's really excited too. We still can't quite decide what we're going to wear <laughs> but we're having a lot of fun talking about it and about who's going to win. Um, if you've seen my Costa Book Awards video which I will link up here I think and I'll put a link in the description box too then you'll know I'm really rooting for Sarah Collins to win but I know I'm just going to really enjoy the evening. Hopefully I'll maybe meet some other um, book people, some book YouTubers there and also just get to see what it's like. So I'm really excited about that happening this January and yeah, um, do if you want to sort of see what the evening is like for me then make sure you're following me on Instagram which is linked down below because I'll be sharing um, all about the night as it happens. So yes, that's something I'm really excited about this January. I mean, I often do find January a bit of a difficult month, but I've actually been really enjoying this month, even though I've had flu. Um, just because I think I've just been really enjoying some small things within this month and that still kind of make a big difference to my day. And that's why I sort of want to share some of them with you. I'm obsessed with perfume and with scent generally. Uh, it just really matters to me uh, to have nice smells around me all the time. So I use, when I'm like sitting um, in my office and I'm sort of working for a day, then I'll have a nice hand cream and things like that. But perfume really matters to me too. And this is a perfume I've just bought this month. I've actually um, used it on and off a lot over time, but I'd never really loved it. It's called White Linen. I thought I'd show you the box too. It's an Estee Lauder perfume called White Linen. And it's just very, um, it's just a really nice everyday kind of scent. People say, I think it's quite floral and people say it reminds them of hyacinths or irises. So it's quite a spring-like fresh scent. It's very green, it's very light. Why I like it is I think it's just a really nice everyday. And it's something I spray on in the morning. I can go to the gym wearing it. I feel it's not gonna bother anyone. And it just, I don't know, it puts me in a good mood first thing in the morning. So I tried a little sample and I was like, I actually really like this perfume. And then I ordered some and I'm, I'm so happy I did because I've just been really enjoying it. Also, it's quite a reasonable perfume too, which is <laughs> always a plus. Um, and the next little treat to myself I got this month is this little booklet called 10 Poems About Baking. Um, this is part of the, it's called Candle Candlestick Press, and they do a not just a card, card ideas, which are actually, instead of a card, you send a little poetry book, which I think is adorable. You know I love poetry. I also love the artist 
um, Alice Petullo, and this is her artwork on the cover. I think that's charming. And this is 10 poems about baking, selected and introduced by Helena Nelson. I love baking, I love poetry. There are some really sweet little poems in this book. And yeah, it really just put a smile on my face and was just a nice little January treat because reading poetry and baking are both two things I'm really enjoying doing this January. Okay, if you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I take a lot of flat lays, generally featuring books, but I like having really nice props for my flat lays. So I'm always looking out for just pretty little things I can include in photos. And one of those is I like to get beautiful silk ribbon, but it can often be really expensive to find this. I've ordered ribbon from the States before and it can cost a fortune which I don't want to spend. So I was really happy when it was actually I think my mum who found about this somehow and told me. Um, she's called Kate Cullen. Her website is katecullen.co.uk. I'm going to link all of this actually in the description box down below. I ordered just a piece of coral silk ribbon from her. Um, they're all naturally hand dyed, her ribbons. Really pretty, comes in this little muslin bag. And I know that this will look really pretty in some photos and also to use tied around flowers and things like that. So I'm, I'm definitely going to be ordering more ribbon from her. Really happy about that. Oh, I also got some other props that I thought I would tell you about too. So I got some of these vintage silver um, forks. They're small forks, so they'll be nice um, when I have a piece of cake and things like that that I put in photos. I can use um, one of these forks with me. My mum is also really happy because the vintage forks I've been using up until now in my flat lay photos, she always points out to me are actually pickle forks and shouldn't be put with a slice of cake. It really bugs her. So I know that she's going to be really happy that I've got some proper forks. And I might polish these up a bit, but actually for photography, um, these sort of slightly burnished silver works works actually really well in photography so I probably won't clean them up too much. These I ordered from, I saved the name on my phone because I keep forgetting it although I follow her on Instagram. So she's called Permillion44, that's her Instagram. Um, and yeah they're, they're just loads of gorgeous props I actually got some, I got something else from the same shop as well. Um, I bought these vintage French receipts. Um, they're handwritten French receipts. And again, this is just the sort of thing that looks beautiful in flat lay photography, which I do a lot of. They are hard to find. They're especially hard to find for a reasonable amount of money. And her shop is very reasonable. And she just has beautiful things. Everything arrived so nicely packaged that I was really happy. To be honest, this is the sort of thing I would probably normally maybe want to keep a bit secret, but I'm feeling really generous today and I'm sharing this with my YouTube following. Um, but yeah, I would absolutely recommend checking out her website put a link in the description box because I love creating beautiful fat lays. I'm sure many of you do as well. And it, it's just so nice when you get um, pretty props to include. Okay, so another thing that's been inspiring me a lot this January is this beautiful book called A Year Around Our House in Words and Watercolours by Kate Mears. I think I first heard about this through Persephone Books. In fact, I'm pretty sure I bought this at Persephone Books. And it's a it's by um, an artist, Kate Mears is an artist, and she did this project where she painted and included little extracts from her diary of a year um, in her home. I think it's in Somerset, but it's in this rural village in England. And it's really, really charming. 
it's a Georgian vicarage that she lives in and let me just find some of the okay so look at some of these January scenes I just adore it they're beautifully presented domestic scenes both of her home and the village that she lives in and I think her artwork is just so charming and I also love her words I love reading about her year um, living in this beautiful English village and I'm finding it very very charming so I wanted to share this with you all as well I love diaries and I especially love reading people's diaries when they're oh so beautifully illustrated. I wish there were more books like that actually. If you know of any then please let me know because yeah I just really love things like that. I love words but I'm also a very visual person and I love art so when the two are combined really well then that's fantastic. So magazine that I'm really enjoying at the moment is The Simple Things. I always do like The Simple Things. This is their February edition so it only arrived um, earlier this week. I love the Art Deco cover. I think that's gorgeous and very, very tea and tattle. And I've just started reading some of the articles. There's a nice freebie. They've done some bookmarks as a free freebie that you can cut out for this issue which I think is really nice and there's some really beautiful photography in this one as well as lovely articles that I've been finding really inspiring. Um, I loved the photography for this article but The Simple Things it's just a really nice lifestyle magazine that I always love to sit down with and have a cup of tea and just flick through it so I always recommend The Simple Things. Speaking of tea, I'm going to have another sip. I hope you're having a cup of tea or something hot and warming as you're watching this. That would be, that would be fun. <laughs> um, okay, so more sort of artwork that's also very nature inspired are these cards by an artist called um, Annie, Annie Broham. I hope that's how you say her last name, not quite sure, but I'll put a link um, to her website in the description box as always. I've been following her on Instagram for a few uh, months now and she does these uh, sort of prints and also card um, collections on a sort of seasonal basis. So these are her, I think this is the January, February set and she brings them out, I think it's just sort of four or five cards at a time that have nature illustrations that are appropriate for a month or two months of the year. And I just think it's a really lovely project. I think that her um, illustrative style is really beautiful. I love things that celebrate nature. So yeah, I'm a big fan of her work and I know I'm going to enjoy keeping some of these cards, using some of them in flat lays and also sending them to friends. I just think they're, they're really pretty. I also bought this, oh, sorry I'll show you what that was actually. <laughs> this was going to be my uh, last thing but I'll do it now as it made such a racket. I accidentally knocked it over. Um, I saw Little Women earlier this month, the film, which I absolutely adored. And Emma Block, who is another illustrator I really like, has done this illustration celebrating the film. This is a scene taken from the film um, of the wonderful March sisters. And I just thought it was so sweet and just such a nice way to remember the film. Um, I bought this print from Emma Block's website. I'll put a link to that um, in the description box. And I, I really like her style. I think it's sweet. And I just put it on a simple clipboard so I can just put it up like on my desk or something or on the mantelpiece. And I just think it's such a sweet wintry scene. So I'm really enjoying having this for this time of year. Okay, but so now the final thing. 
I wanted to tell you about um, is this book called Vera, The Art and Life of an Icon. So I can't remember which gallery it is now in New York City. Um, but they're having um, a exhibition in New York of Vera Newman, who was a hugely popular uh, sort of designer, especially in the 1960s, 1970s. And she did a lot of iconic sort of floral and very colorful artwork. There was also, she also designed a lot of textiles so like clothing and scarves, um, as well as um, sort of tableware, napkins, trays, tablecloths, that kind of thing. My mum collected some of her stuff while I was growing up, so did my grandmother, I think. And I remember seeing some of these patterns just, you know, in the house or the scarves my mum wore when I was young growing up. If I were in New York, I would absolutely want to see the this exhibition of her work, as I obviously can't go. I ordered the book from the exhibition. And I've just been really enjoying looking through it. It's so colourful, vibrant and inspirational. It's been really brightening up these grey days in January for me. But I'll, I'll find out where, where it was happening in New York and put a link to that um, in the description box. So... If you're in New York and it's still on, you can go check it out and tell me about it. But yeah, really really lovely. If you're also someone who is really interested in um, women in sort of textiles and design, then I would really recommend checking out more of Vera Newman's work. But anyway, that's my tea and tattle time for today. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed hearing a bit about some of the things that I've been enjoying and buying and that have been making me happy this month. I'd love to hear the same from you. Um, what have you been enjoying? What little things have you been buying? Or what films have you seen? Things like that, that have just been brightening up your month a bit. I'd really like to know. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel so you can see all my future videos. But until next time, bye.